Before the discovery of the smallpox vaccine, smallpox was in fact used as a weapon. One of the best documented examples of this occurred during the French and Indian War. The British had been defeated in their attempt to conquer Fort Carrion on Lake Champlain, so Sir Geoffrey Amherst, commander of the British forces, met with Indians who were sympathetic to the French. Under the pretense of friendship, he deliberately offered them blankets previously used by smallpox victims. The Indians, who lacked immunity to smallpox, suffered a devastating outbreak of the disease. The English were then able to successfully attack the fort, which, by the way, was renamed Fort Ticonderoga. Military forces have also been devastated by endemic smallpox. During the siege of Quebec, George Washington's troops suffered massive losses from smallpox. He subsequently required all new recruits to be inoculated against the virus. I'd like to comment for a few minutes on the Soviet program uh, and their development of, uh, of smallpox, virile and major. Uh, they first worked with uh, smallpox and immunated chicken eggs. And since a very small amount of material is produced in the egg, you, you can imagine the large numbers of eggs that were required to produce 100 metric tons of dried agent. Now, as their program advanced, uh, and uh, starting in the early 90s, they were using tissue culture as a means of, of generating uh, the virus. But 100 metric tons loaded into an ICBM aimed at our major cities uh, is cause for worry. It's incredibly ironic that the great public health triumph of eradicating smallpox in the 1970s and the discontinuation of worldwide vaccination have opened the door for this virus to be once again used as a weapon.